tips. Hi guys, so a lot of us can actually get um, hamstring pain, particularly here in the top area of the hamstring. And one of the reasons we can often get hamstring pain is because we don't have strong enough glutes and the glutes are switching off. And therefore all the muscles around the hamstring don't actually support the process of a hamstring stretch or other things. And then when they turn off, if the glutes aren't strong, the quadriceps aren't strong, the hamstrings aren't actually strong as well. What happens is that we overstretch. And when we overstretch and go into that stretch, we then get those irritations and niggles. So one way I like to prevent this and also to help my, re my hamstring be healthy, if it was to be unhealthy and it was sore and irritated is strength work. Strength work is often forgotten in flexibility, but we need just as much strength as we do flexibility. So here is a little simple exercise that you can do before you do your hamstring stretches or in between your hamstring stretches and also on your leg day. Break your booty. One leg goes on the blocks. The other leg comes up to your chest. If you want to take and the bend out of your spine so you're really just activating into the glute, keep your knee to your chest. If you want to have a little more elevation, release the knee. Up to you as long as your hips are horizontal. And from here, pushing the big toe, little toe and heel down to activate all sides of your leg and glute. And then you're just going to raise up for one, two, still keeping your core active even if you're not holding the leg, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Hold at the top for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I'm going to ask you to hold here and pulse for ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Release, go a little higher, pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Leg up, bring it down for one, two, holding here, straight back, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten, releasing down. Now just after you've done that, you're going to feel quite a lot of tightness, so extend your leg out and just allow for a stretch. So this is going to help you to develop a lot more strength. Now the reason I do two types of glutes where I'm holding actively into my chest and knee and not, is so I can understand the anterior and posterior pelvis tilt and the activation. If you're going to do something, you should always do it mindfully. So by doing two options where you're utilizing the back bend and you're not, and you're doing it mindfully, it's going to be a lot more healthy for your body to understand. And also, it's going to be a lot more productive when people say, please place in posterior pelvis tilt. You want to understand, okay, I have to tuck my pelvis, which feels like tucking my knee into my chest. I don't have as much range of motion. My core is active. When you're going into deeper back bends, you also understand your core too, so you don't dump in your lower back. And when you have those deeper back bends safely, it becomes a healthier process. So don't forget to do the other side. Let me know how this exercise goes. It should really help in a couple of weeks to improve your hamstring health. Namaste.